So now this question says the complete solution to the equation x, x minus 1 equals 2 is. This question is a little bit tricky, and I admit that. Because when you first look at it, it looks like it's in factored form. So shouldn't my answer simply be where x goes to 0 or x minus 1 goes to 0? And the answer is no, because it's not equal to 0. So actually what I have to do is I have to bring that 2 over like that. But then that's still not in factored form. I actually have got to expand this out first and then factor it from this point here. But it's actually pretty easy to factor here because my first two terms here have to both be x. And 2 really only breaks down into 2 and 1. So the question is whether uh, what the signs are. So my product here at the end, notice that that's negative 2. So one of these, one of the 2 or negative 2 has got to be negative. And because the middle term there is negative, it's got to be the larger one that's negative here. So that 2 here, this has to be negative. That has to be positive. That's the only way you're going to get that, that sum of the terms in the middle to be a negative. So x minus 2 is equal to 0, or x plus 1 is equal to 0, which means x is either 2 or x is negative 1. And then I go looking for my solution, and there it is at C.